and i said should good swings yesterday on the downside supports played well for tech 100 dax footsie and us 30 and has seen a good recovery at the same time we can see that there is a resistance there on the upside which is also playing equally well so now what to expect today from uh, tech 100 dow jones dax and footsie 100 in the same sequence we are going to see we will see with the help of charts and indicators do like share subscribe and comment friends this is a great inspiration motivation for me to deliver on time every time to the best of my abilities twice a day the next update on us indices will be released before the us session do watch that also and thus press the bell icon in order to keep yourself updated else join my free telegram channel in order to get the live updates with that let's start first tech hunt. now on the early chart there is a bullish crossover here between the moving averages 15 350 was a, which was a great resistance here it is now going to be a very good sub now also one must note that see this was the resistance for yesterday at 15 300 it has seen a drop towards 200 and then seen a recovery now if you look closely you will find that despite the rise it is still staying in this bearish channel and hence only and only if you see tech 100 is staying above 15 450 460 zone we can expect higher highs to get achieved which is towards 15 540 550 levels yes if it stays above 15 450 460 possibly beyond that more bullishness may prevail there and this crossover is a little bullish sign but right now if you look at rise retracement rise slightly higher highs and then possibly a retracement on the downside towards 350 360 cannot if you look at the stock i think this is overbought here that is why we can see a red candle uh magd is in green rsi very near to top coming to two hour charts on the two hour charts you can see bullishness getting diminished here with every candle but at the same time the previous candle has a wick i will wait for breakout beyond 15 4 20 levels and then wait for 15 450 460 levels to be breezed in order to confirm the rise the stock has take over bought magd divergent magd bullish looking upwards rsi flat coming to three r chart similar is the observation on the three r charts as well however look at the moving average crossover this is a good sign this is a bullish sign higher lows higher highs suggest that it is still trying to stay bullish beyond 15 420 we can look forward to 450 460 and if it's staying beyond certainly we can expect a rise towards 15 550 levels as well which is a great great resistance now look at the movement here see higher lows higher highs rise retracement to the bottom of the channel if it continues this climb here we can expect exceptional bullishness the stochastic overbought magni divergent magni bullish looking upwards rsi is also comfortable coming to four now look at four hour charts see lower lows 15 200 played out very very well and since then bullish candle couple of retracement and then this break now this candle has a flat top and it is trading with a modest bullish bias beyond 15 420 yes 15 450 460 and staying beyond this is where the bulls will try to take over and hence a buying entry can be taken at 15 420 now look at this on the downside now 15 350 360 zone very very good and then 330 and 300 now this zone has become critical for tech 100 as long as 15 300 is respected today we are not going to treat this as bearish below 15 300 is where we can expect slight bearishness a stock has take over bought magd divergent magd bullish looking upwards on the four hour chart good sign rsi flat coming to the daily look at on the daily charts you can find lower highs lower and today is possibly trying to break out uh it has to stay above the yesterday's highs and possibly see uh as long as 15 uh, once again the same thing beyond 15 450 460 is where the bulls will try to take over yes that is the level you have to be careful and also you should note that lower highs lower lows trying to break out here possibly these levels breaking past these levels more bullish momentum might take it above 15 500 550 as well yes what has happened the moving averages crossed over here prices converged towards the moving averages as the prices were divergent now it is again looking upwards this upward movement can continue here for a while the stock has to comfortable magdi here trying to cross over but it is still got room it is not yet crossed over rsi looking upwards. so looking at this i will recommend you to buy to at 15 420 levels but then be with the caution note at 15 440 460 zone very very good support resistance there 
above 15460s where the bulls will take over and on the downside i will recommend you to sell at 15380 but then 360 350 is a great great support then 330 320 the next support levels and below 300 is where the bears will take over below 300 we may see it achieving lower lows here remember below 300 we can still expect a sharper drop towards 200 and below levels so you have to take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at dow jones and before we proceed if you want to learn this art of trading you should join my mentorship batch 26 batch is going to start on first week of october limited seats are available register yourself now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id are mentioned in the channel and video description now let's have a look at us us 30 on the early charts likewise see if you look at or just connect the dots you will find lower lows are getting created lower highs are getting created waiting for it to break past 34 660 zone in order to confirm for the rise and then beyond that again i will be looking forward to 700 750 zone very very good resistance now 700 is going to be the next race is zone 720 750 zone a stock has to is overbought and hence a little bearishness while the macd if you look at first wave second wave third wave and this might continue on the upside rsi flat and with trading with a slight bullish bias coming to two now look at two hour chart see uh, this is still staying bullish higher lows higher highs or we can look forward to 660 levels 660 is a good resistance and then beyond that the bullishness might prevail taking it till towards uh 680 720 750 zone very very strong resistance as long as 750 is respected the stock is still rising macd is bearish trying to converge crossover for the buying entries rsi is flat coming to 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts likewise it suggests that similar bullish candle can be seen possibly we might look at 680 700 levels here a stock is still rising macd is bearish trying to converge a bit rsi is flat and on the 4 hour similar observation pause uh, see reversal there and then this is the reversal sign after that we can see first bullish candle second bullish candle may prevail we can see here 680 700 levels is stock is still rising macd is bearish trying to converge cross over rsi is staying flat and on the daily charts if you look, now look at daily charts see the swings yesterday and see how beautifully the lows are aligned i had mentioned only bearishness below 34 500 levels it respected 500 and then has since then shown a very very good swing now today the resistance is seen here at uh, 660 680 zone very very good resistance see moving averages have crossed over here and you have to also note that the top of this channel you have to wait for 760 levels to be breached in order to confirm the little rise there beyond 167 34 760s where the bullishness might prevail so you have to ensure that as long as 34 760 levels are respected we are not going to treat it as bullish remember it is a flat top there and hence it can show you again a swing on the downside which might take it towards the next pivot levels at 34 450 so a swing day possibly on us 30 can be seen however largely staying bullish as of now we can expect 660 680 levels as the first targets then 720 is the next 720 760 is the next resistance level The stock is still looking down. MACD is in green, trading with very little divergence. On and on MACD, there is still a scope for US 30. You can see this crossover has happened after a long time, so it can continue. RSI looking upward. So looking at this, uh, yes, right now you can buy at 34, 660, 680 zone, and then beyond that, more bullish momentum may take it towards 720, 760 levels. However. it is only about 760 where the bulls will take over as long as 760 is respected we have to stay cautious on the upside on the downside possibly we can take a sell entry here at around 34 600 or rather i will say 34 570 levels but then 540 500 are two major major support below 500 in fact 550 450 is now the next support level it is only below 450 the bears will take over take positions accordingly now let's have a look at dax firstly dax on the early charts you can see one important observation higher lows here and this is accelerating here on the upside and now here as well it, you can see it is getting further accelerated now we all know that 760 is the level 15760 is the level for dex which if it breaks past by then only we should treat it for a reversal beyond that we can look forward to 800 840 as the next milestone and if you look at the formation there yes uh, possibly if it breaks past by uh, this zone here at 760 more bullish momentum may prevail the stock is ticking over bot macd is divergent macd is bullish rsi is flat now on the early chart this calls for a little retracement on the downside but if you look at the two hour see on the two hour charts higher lows are getting seen and you can see lower 
higher highs as well. However, the bullishness getting diminished here. Yes, beyond 15,720, we can initiate a buying entry. Rather, I will say beyond 15. Uh, see, there are resistances here, 720, 740, 760 zone. Very, very strong resistance there. Those who want to take a safe entry should wait for 760 to be breathed on the upside, and a selling entry below 630 can be taken. But right now, let's have a further detailed look. Stock has taken over, but MACD has crossed over. And it is trading with divergence, trading bullish, good sign. It can lead to a second wave here, bullish wave. RSI flat and on the 3 hour chart, likewise on the 3 hour chart, see reversal sign there first, bullish candle second there. Third may appear, but then uh, there are resistances as we discussed. You have to be careful as long as 15,760 is respected and beyond that we are looking at 800 levels. Yes, uh, it has got its support intact here and 15600 levels. See, none of the candles close below 15600 suggested that it is a very good support. A stochastic overbought, MACD crossing over here for a buying entry. Very good sign here for the bulls. Yes, it can continue. Look at this double bottom levels and the rise here can be phenomenal. Uh, see, RSI rising on the 4 hour chart. If you so far on the 4 hour chart, see prices are too much divergent from the moving average. Moving average is not divergent also. We have seen it converging. And now you can find out how far the resistance level are. And thus you have to remain watchful, careful. Almost double bottom levels are seen here. With that as double bottom, it is trying to rise. So possibly lower highs, which suggests 15,800 can be expected. Stochastic rising. MACD is willing to converge, crossover for a buying entry. And this is a bullish sign RSI looking upwards. So right now, if you look at, I will recommend you to sell only if you see it staying below 15680 levels, 15670 levels. That is a very good support. And a buying entry can be taken at 720. But then with the rider that on the upside, you have to, uh, this is a risky trade as long as 15760 is respected. We have to ensure that it can, uh, you know, you're trading with a stop loss at your enterprise on above 15760 is where the bulls will take over. On the downside, we can expect the support to come here at 15,640, 650 levels. First support, 15,630s and 15,600 as the major, major support. Only below 15,600, the bears will take over. Take positions accordingly. Now, let's have a look at, also just let's have a look at the daily charts here. On the daily charts, what has happened so far? Let's observe. See, flat bottom, first of all, two bearish candles trying to reverse here. Yes, it can form a double top at 15,740 levels. And this makes 157.4760 is a great resistance. Beyond that, it can show you a reversal which might take the prices towards 800. If you look at daily stock, I think this is looking down. The MACD is bearish and almost flat, I will say RSI rising. Looking at this beyond 720, more bullishness. 760 is the level beyond which the bulls will take over. Index and on the downside below 670, you can initiate a sell, but then 640, 620, 600, very good support. And below 600 is where the bears will take over trade accordingly now let's have a look at uk uk 100 has come to its major resistance level at 7550 now this is a very 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 strong resistance level for uk 100 because beyond this see double bottom now rising it is staying bullish looking up first good signs for uk 100 beyond 7550 we may see further bullish momentum here taking it till towards 7580 76 100 levels remember the uk economic contracted by more than expected levels here yesterday that was the data however the markets are always forward looking and uh, they see major intervention here from government and that is why the prices are trying to rise here let's see if it continues above 7550 levels stochastic is overbought macd is divergent macd is bullish RSI is rising. Coming to 2 hours, likewise on the 2 hour charts, staying bullish here, con consistent rise beyond 7550. We can expect 7580 levels at the next milestone and 7610, 7620 levels will come into picture. Stochastic extremely overbought, MACD divergent, MACD bullish, RSI looking up, staying bullish there. On the 3 hour, likewise bullish signs. Support is seen here at 7520. Uh, 7520, which was a resistance earlier, is now going to be a major support. Stochastic rising overbought, MACD willing to cross over for a buy, and RSI is looking upwards. Coming to 4 hour charts, likewise on the 4 hour charts, similar observation taking the support from the 20 period moving average price is rising. Possibly we are looking at 7580 beyond levels. Stochastic is rising here as well, MACD crossing over for a buy, 
RSI rising. Coming to the daily charts. Now on the daily charts, look at yesterday's move, lower highs, lower lows. Today it is trying to break out. We can expect a major, major bullish candle taking it till towards 7580 levels here. Very, very good resistance at 7580, 7600 level. Remember beyond 7600 is where the bulls will take over for 1500. Stochastic overbought, MACD divergent bullish, RSI looking upwards. Looking at this, see as long as it stays above 7520 today, possibly bullish momentum may prevail. We can look forward to 7580 7600 levels here but you can buy now at 7560 expect 7580 7600 levels at the next milestones on the upside on the downside only below 7520 i will recommend you to sell so for not trade between 7520 and 7560 zone do not trade between these 40 points below 7520 we can expect 500 480 levels at the major support and below 480 is where the bears will take over Take positions accordingly, trade accordingly, trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. Do press the bell icon, join my mentorship badge, join my signals channel. Reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day. See you again with the US indices update before the US session. Do watch that as well. Thank you.